A 13-year-old boy was killed and at least 20 others, including a 3-year-old boy, have been wounded in shootings across Chicago since Friday evening. The weekend's first shooting happened about 6 p.m. Friday, July 25th, when a 13-year-old boy was killed and six others were wounded in the East Garfield Park neighborhood. Multiple people were standing in the 700 block of South California Avenue when they were shot, police said. Samuel Walker was shot in his head and pronounced dead at the scene at 6.22 p.m. He died about two blocks from his home in the 3000 block of West Flournoy Street. A 15-year-old boy was shot in the right foot, and three 14-year-old boys were each shot in the left leg. A 21-year-old man was shot in the right leg and taken to Mount Sinai in serious condition. A 25-year-old man suffered a graze wound to the abdomen and was treated at the scene. Three-year-old Jason Ayers suffered a gunshot wound to the abdomen about 10 p.m. Friday, July 25th, in front of his home in the 4400 block of South Sacramento Avenue, according to police and family members. Sandra Steve, the boy's aunt, said her sister and the boy's father heard gunshots and peeked between two homes when someone fired shots from the front of the home, striking the toddler. A group of two females and a male walked past them, and when they reached the end of the block, the male turned around and fired, striking the boy in the right hip and abdomen. The child was taken to Mount Sinai Hospital. He was listed in fair condition Sunday afternoon, a hospital spokeswoman said. Alger Sanchez, 19, and Anton Aceves, 22, were charged Sunday with one count each of aggravated battery, discharge of a firearm, and two counts each of attempted first-degree murder, according to a statement from Chicago police. A man is dead and an officer wounded after a police-involved shooting about 3.30 a.m. Monday, July 28th in the 1600 block of North Marshfield Avenue. The 44-year-old police officer was taken to Stroger. Another man in his 30s was pronounced dead at the scene at 3.40 a.m. His name was not being released Monday morning. The officer lives in the area where the shooting happened and was returning home from work when he spotted someone he suspected to be a burglar near a home under construction, spokesman Pat Camden said. After the officer approached and announced himself, the two began to struggle over the officer's gun. At some point, the gun discharged and shot the officer in his arm. Camden said it was still unclear how the gun went off. At that point, the officer grabbed hold of his gun and shot the other man in self-defense. 